Welcome to the final installment in my top three in every makeup category series. Part one was foundations and skin tints. Part two was color complexion products. Part three, we did eyes. And today, my very favorite makeup category, all about the lips. But first, a little update. I am still getting organized after my cross country move from Minnesota to upstate New York. As you can see, I am back at my cousins in the Catskills. Stay tuned until the end of the video because I am going to share a sneak peek of the tiny cottage my cousins are almost finished renovating, which I plan to rent while I explore the area. But for now, most of my stuff is in storage, so Bosley and I are definitely in transition, but we are enjoying every minute of it. Anyway, back to lipstick. Like I already said, it is my number one most favorite makeup category. It's sort of my desert island cosmetic product. There is not a day that goes by where I am not wearing lipstick. Even if I have no other makeup on, it is sunscreen, lipstick, and out the door I go. I always have lipstick in my purse. I love lipstick. Lipstick truly makes me happy. And I have a lot of lipstick, so this was a little bit difficult. So I am breaking this down into a few different categories. As always, everything is listed and linked in the description box below, as well as in a pinned comment, as well as in the new YouTube shopping feature. Keep in mind, many of these links are affiliate, which means if you shop my links, I may earn a small commission. Absolutely no pressure. But if you do choose to shop my links, I thank you. It really does help support my channel and I very much appreciate it. First category, starting with my top three drugstore lipstick formulas and shades. You know, I have been a huge Revlon lipstick fan for my entire adult life. I love how Revlon continues to make iconic shades for years and years. In fact, the different shades of Revlon lipstick sort of remind me of different periods in my life. Throughout my 30s, my signature shade was Cherries in the Snow. I was the red lipstick girl. And then in my 40s, I sort of muted it down a little bit. Wine with Everything, Rum Raisin. They still make all those shades today. Right now, one of my favorite shades is Velvet Rose. It's just a really nice, soft, dusty, mauve rose. And there it is. I also love a new formula they came out with a couple of years ago, the Shine formula. And I have this in the shade Rum Raisin. So there is Velvet and here is Rum Raisin in the Shine formula. Now the Shine formula is a little bit more sheer, a little bit balmy, a little bit glossy. There is the Cream Velvet Rose and there is the Shine Rum Raisin. I am going to compare the original Rum Raisin to the Shine Rum Raisin because they really aren't exactly the same shade. Let me make sure, yeah, is this Rum Raisin? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so the Velvet Rum Raisin is right there. So that is the cream version of Rum Raisin. That is the Shine version of Rum Raisin. And there is Velvet Rose. You know, I love, I still have a lot of Revlon lipsticks, but if I have to choose, these would be my two favorite shades and my two favorite formulas of Revlon. Milani makes some beautiful lipsticks. I especially love their color fetish line and it comes in two formulas. It comes in a matte formula and a balm formula. My favorite shade in the matte formula is called Petal. It's just a really nice bright pink matte, very pigmented. And yes, it's matte, but it doesn't really feel drying on my lips anyway. But they also came out with a balm formula and my favorite shade in the balm formula is 130 Lingerie. So I don't know if you can tell, it is definitely more sheer. It is definitely balmier. So there is Milani the Balm 130 Lingerie Milani Matte Petal. And I also love Milani's 
packaging. I love how you can sort of see the shade of the lipstick. So when you're looking for a lipstick in a sea of lipsticks like I have, it is a little bit easier to find the shade. And if you are looking for a super long wearing formula at the drugstore, Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon cannot be beat. This was dubbed Best Lip Crayon of 2020 in the Allure Best of Beauty Awards. It is a crayon, it's a wind up crayon. It is a very matte formula. It does feel a little bit dry on the lips. I do tend to put a balm or a gloss over it, but it is super long lasting, even if I do top it with a gloss. I have this in three shades. I have it in the shade 145, Break the Ceiling, 85, Change is Good, and 80, Run the World. You can see I'm a pretty big fan of cool toned pinks. Anyway, my top three would be my Revlon, that is Velvet Rose, that is the Shine Rum Raisin, that is the Cream Rum Raisin, Milani Matte Petal, Milani Balm, I can't remember that shade name, and then the Maybelline Super Stay. So, so pretty. Now you are going to notice I didn't talk about L'Oreal. They discontinued my favorite line that they had, Color Reshine, R.I.P. Varnish Rosewood. And in general, although I do have a couple of L'Oreal lipsticks that I do enjoy, in general, I find that most of their lipsticks have this sort of signature unpleasant scent. It's sort of like plastic Play-Doh, which I really don't enjoy. So top three at the drugstore, Revlon Milani Maybelline. Moving on to my top three, what I consider a little bit higher end, but not quite luxury. These next three will all be in the 20-ish dollar category. Starting with Tarte. They launched their new Juicy Lip Line about a year or so ago, and I instantly fell in love with it. It is a very unique, almost a gloss in a stick. It's very sheer, very balmy, very glossy, feels amazing on the lips. I have it in two shades. That is the shade Raspberry, and here I will show you the shade Strawberry. Now, it has this sort of push-up component you have to be a little bit careful because once it's up, you can't get it down again. But I want you to see how balmy that is. It feels so good on the lips. It is not the longest lasting formula for sure, but you can layer it over a lip liner. You can layer it over a matte lipstick. I absolutely love it. It just feels incredible. Not long after launching the original Juicy Lip, they launched a new cream formula, Juicy Lip Cream Formula. The packaging is a little bit different, but it again has that push-up component. This is a little bit more pigmented, a little bit less sheer and balmy, but still really beautiful on the lips. I have this, I guess this is a twist up. I like the twist up much better. I have it in two shades. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on and I will show you the shades. So this is the shade, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so hard to see, Cranberry. And I want you to see sort of the difference in the formula. I hope you can tell it is definitely more pigmented and less glossy, more like a cream lipstick, but it still feels amazing on the lips. And I also have it in the shade Lotus. Again, twist up. You can see I love my pinks. So that is the Tarte Juicy Lip Raspberry Strawberry Juicy Lip Cream. Can't remember what that shade was and that. So you can see how much more emollient and glossy and sheer those are. And these are more like a classic lipstick. But I love all of them. Next up we have BK Beauty Luxe Lipsticks. Now even though these are in the mid 20 ish dollar price range, these have the look and the feel of luxury. I absolutely adore the elegant magnetic packaging and the creamy satin long lasting formula feels amazing on the lips. It comes in 11 shades. I have a whole video where I tried on all 11 of her shades. I will link that in the description box below. My two most used shades. Number one is Passion, and I will show you. Here is Passion, 
it's just a really beautiful sort of deep plummy pink and her most recent launch last summer oh my gosh the shade empower i was so surprised how much i loved this this is a vibrant cheerful happy orange red perfect for summer so that's bk beauty passion bk beauty what is it called empower and last but absolutely not least in the somewhat higher end 20 ish dollar price range these are not ranked i absolutely adore the new merit signature lip this satin formula is so smooth and creamy and balmy and hydrating it feels amazing on the lip it can be applied more sheerly or built up for more intensity it only comes in eight shades and i really hope they come out with more my two favorite shades is la avenue which is just a really see how sheer that is a really nice sort of berry brown i'm building it up for more intensity but like i said it can be applied more sheerly and i also really love fashion this is a little bit of a brighter berry again it can be applied more sheerly or built up for more intensity those merit lipsticks feel amazing on the lips so these are my three higher end mid 20 ish dollar favorites we have the tarte juicy glossy balmy formula the tarte lip cream bk beauty passion bk beauty orange red i can't remember the name again and merit la avenue and merit fashion moving on to my top three luxury formulas and shades now these are all in the mid 30 ish dollar price range nothing over 40 dollars so not super super luxury but to me these are luxury you know i have to talk about lisa eldridge i just cannot seem to resist her lipstick launches i am almost embarrassed to admit that i have more than 20 of her 36 dollar lipsticks but i have accumulated them over time i do have a couple of videos where i tried on many of her lipstick shades i will link those below she has several formulas she has the velvet formula which is matte she has luxuriously lucent she recently launched insanely saturated and she also recently launched a new liquid lip which i have not purchased i'm just not a liquid lipstick fan one of my very first lisa eldridge lipstick purchases a few years ago is still one of my most used shades to this day and it is lisa eldridge velvet muse and can we just talk about the packaging for a minute so elegant love the magnetic packaging anyway like i said velvet muse was one of the very first shades that i purchased a few years ago you can see i have used it almost completely up now it is her matte formula her matte formula is incredibly pigmented it is matte but it's not flat and it doesn't feel drying on the lips velvet muse one of my most used lipstick shades I hope you can see how pigmented that is it's just such a beautiful sort of brownie rose dusty formula that looks good on so many people lisa eldridge velvet muse one of my very first shades that i ever purchased i still love it to this day two other favorite most used shades i'm going to share with you are in her luxuriously lucent formula now the luxuriously lucent is a little bit more sheer a little bit balmier so it can be applied more sheerly or it can be built up and my two most used shades in that number one painterly you can see it is quite used up here is painterly i hope you can see it is a little bit more sheer and that is just a really pretty my lips but better painterly and lastly now mind you i have over 20 shades she makes beautiful reds beautiful pinks i am just sharing my most used shades the one i reach for on a regular basis so another small one this is spirited away which is a little bit lighter a little bit pinker again sort of a my lips but better lisa eldridge velvet muse matte formula 
uh, luxuriously lucent painterly luxuriously lucent spirited away all her lipstick shades are gorgeous my next two luxury lipsticks i'm going to share with you i only have one from each brand i'm really not a luxury lipstick girl in general i am more comfortable in the 20 ish dollar and under price range but i did pick up finally a charlotte tilbury pillow talk in a mini this is pillow talk medium and i love this formula and i love this color it is a matte pillow talk medium i really enjoy this it's very pigmented it feels really good on the lips it's a really perfect sort of mid-tone nudie slightly warm rose i absolutely love it once i use this up i just might purchase it in the full size now the pillow tuck mini came in a light a medium and a deep tone i gave my um dad's wife my stepmom the pillow tuck deep for christmas it came in a mini lipstick and a mini lip liner and she loved it i love the medium anyway charlotte tilbury lipsticks are also beautiful and lastly in the luxury line and this is a lipstick i have actually repurchased it has been a favorite for years and it is the bobby brown crushed liquid lip in the shade give a fig this is what i'm wearing today i just love this shade i love this formula it's sort of a moussey formula it's not a liquid lip in the classic sense it is not drying it feels really good on the lips i love how bright it is it's nicely pigmented that is bobby brown crushed liquid lip in the shade give a fig i'm definitely going to repurchase this when this is you know i always seem to get compliments when i wear this shade like i said i'm wearing it today moving on to lip liners now i don't wear a lip liner every day i'm a little bit too lazy for that but lip liners can be very effective to give our lips some shape they can also help hold the lipstick in so the lipstick doesn't bleed out as much and if you have a lip liner in a shade you love you can fill in your entire lip throw a little balm or gloss over it and you have a very long lasting lip color now i'm not going to break this down by price category drugstore high end and luxury in general i don't really like spending a lot of money on lip liners now i do have some lisa eldridge that i love some charlotte tilbury some bk beauty but my three most used lip liners are on the more affordable side first up is the nyx matte lip liner this is in the shade whipped caviar i have repurchased this several times first of all it is an incredibly long lasting formula it is on the drier side it doesn't feel wonderful going on your lips this is not a lip liner i fill my entire lip in with but because it is a drier matte formula it does a really nice job holding the lipstick in and like i said i have repurchased this several times this is the lip liner i am wearing today with the bobby brown because the bobby brown is a little bit of a moussier formula and this does a really nice job holding the bobby brown in anyway that is nyx matte lip liner in the shade whipped caviar which goes with a lot of different lipsticks next up we have a milani lip liner this is a little bit creamier of a formula it's a very neutral sort of natural shade that goes with any lipstick milani makes some really really gorgeous very affordable lip liners and lastly i love the sephora collection gel lip liners this feels so smooth and creamy going on the lip yet it really does dry down hold the lipstick in comes in a ton of shades let me see what shade this is this is one of my favorite shades it is called of course rose wine i love rose wine shades so those are my three most used affordable lip liners uh nyx whipped caviar milani I'll, I'll put the shade in the description box and sephora collection 
and Sephora sales should be coming up. Their collection lip liners are very affordable to begin with. During the sale, they're usually 30% off making these drugstore pricing. Last category is lip gloss. And again, I'm not breaking this down by price point. I have three that I absolutely love. You know I have to talk about my City Beauty City Lips. My gosh, I have talked about this many times. I have it in a clear. I also have a shade, which I'm going to share with you. You know, this is such a hydrating, plumping formula. I actually use this almost more as skincare than I do cosmetics. I will put this on the last step of my skincare routine at night to really hydrate and plump my lips as I sleep. I will prehydrate my lips with this in the morning. These are pricey. Thank goodness City Beauty has sales, they have BOGOs. I always try to put something in my community post when they have it on sale. I always stock up when they have a BOGO. I don't know, I just love this formula. Now it does come in several shades. I only have one of their shades and I absolutely love it and it is called San Diego. Can you see that it's just such a pretty shimmery peachy pink, but it is very, very sheer. And what I like to do with this is I like to use this over a lipstick that perhaps is a little bit too bright and a little bit too cool to warm it up. Let me show you that. Here is my matte Milani petal. Well, you can see it's very, very cool, right? But if I put a little bit of San Diego over it, it tones it down just a little bit and it gives it just a little bit of warmth. That is one of my favorite lipstick combos, Milani Matte Petal and um, City Beauty Sun Diego. Love Sun Diego. Another lip gloss I absolutely love, and this is one that does live in my purse. This is actually not a gloss. It is called the Sigma, need my glasses, Sigma Renew Lip Oil enriched with jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin C E. Now this is a very sheer formula, and I feel like this is sort of a hybrid lip oil and gloss. I love the cushy doe foot applicator. It feels so good going on my lips. It is very sheer, very lightly pigmented. It feels amazing. I have it in two shades. I just showed you all hearts, so I'm gonna show you the two shades down here, right next to each other. Very, very sheer. That is all heart. And I also have it in the shade called Tint. Can you see? Tint is almost half gone. And Tint is more of just a nude beige. I can't even see it. So that's all heart, which is a little bit cooler. This is called Tint. Again, these are great to tone a lipstick down, add a little moisture. It's super long lasting. Like I said, this lives in my purse. I absolutely love how it feels and I will put this on throughout the day just because I love how it feels. And lastly is a lip gloss I have repurchased several times. I'm almost out of it again and I will repurchase it and it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine in the shade Pink Mocha. I don't know if you can see, it is running low. I will definitely repurchase it. I hope they never discontinue this shade because it is just the prettiest nudie brownie pink that looks so natural on the lips. My lips look better. It is pigmented enough to use as a lipstick pretty long lasting for a lip gloss. I'm almost out. I will be repurchasing it. It is a favorite for sure. So that wraps up the final installment in my top three cosmetics in every category 2023. I will link the previous videos in the series in the description box below in case you missed them. I will also link my BK Beauty lipstick try on video and my Lisa Eldridge lipstick try on videos in the description box below so you can see more shades in action. And please, please share your favorite lipsticks, any of your favorite products so we can all learn from each other. 
as promised, here's a little peek at where I'm currently living. This is my cousin's house. My bedroom is the second floor with those bay windows. And here is the little tiny cottage at the end of their driveway that they are currently renovating. Here is the back of the tiny cottage in comparison to the back of the house. It does have its own little deck. And there is the view from the back of the cottage facing east, so beautiful morning sun. Here is my cousin finishing up the hardwood floors that are going to be absolutely gorgeous. They are oak and oh my gosh, they turned out so, so beautifully. And here is the view sort of from the front door. Like I said, those three windows, that door and two windows face east. Look how high the ceilings are. It just makes it feel so much bigger than it actually is. And here is facing the front door. There will be a loft, although I'm definitely not sleeping in the loft, but it will be great for extra storage. And to the left is where the bathroom will be, where you see the bathtub. I guess I was exaggerating a little bit when I said they were almost done, but the plumbing, the electrical, the insulation, the roof, all the windows have been replaced. So it's just a matter of finishing it up. Hopefully it will be ready before winter hits. And here is Bosley with his new friends. The two big dogs are my cousin's dogs and the two little dogs are our friend's dogs. We're having a really great time here in the Hudson Valley, Catskill area, upstate New York. Anyway, I will be keeping you posted on the progress of the new tiny cottage and I hope to see you next Sunday. Have a great week.